Several members of the Washington Press Corps have gathered at a bar after work. You know how reporters have to have that certain image. You've seen them on TV. On the news shows. Anyway, they like this bar because they can relax, be themselves. They can drink as much as they want, curse, scratch themselves, smoke cigars, you name it. And two of the reporters there are talking, and Jennifer says to Connie, she says, don't make such a big deal of it. You know they use doubles and stand-ins everywhere, especially in politics. And Connie says, well, it was just so unprofessional. They did it right in front of us in the middle of the press conference. And that second Barack had a beard and the first one was clean shaven. It was just so unprofessional. What she's talking about is how at the press conference Connie had asked Barack about yours truly. My censored phone, mail, business websites, and Barack had excused himself and walked away. And Harry had walked back out in his place. Now Harry is a gorilla, a gorilla intern at the White House. You have to think of him as kind of like Monica Lewinsky, except a lot hairier. And Harry walks out in his suit there, Barack suit, to the podium. And he looks directly at Connie and he says, Man, that son of carpenter, Mary, bad. And then he turned and started to walk away, and Cotty called back after him, but sir, you did not answer my question about the blatant censorship of the phones, mail, and internet. The dangerous censorship of our phones. Call 424-229-0911. Can't reach me. You don't know if you'll reach 911 when you need them. And Harry stopped in his tracks, turned around, and said to Connie, Truth. Bad. Guys, remember the document you missed, P.O. Box 1151, San Marcos, California, 90406. Expose where that danger censorship of your phones comes from. Document to where I live at the Baltimore Hotel, just six blocks east of the tallest thing. In L.A., room 433.